What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna walk through my leg workout day. And a lot of people have been asking me to show a little bit more of my workout routines. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through it. This is a completely new workout. So it's the very first time I'm performing this leg day. So I'll be showing you guys the full video. I'm gonna take you to my office and we're gonna watch together. And along with that, I'll be commanding all exercises that I'm performing. But before anything else, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit the bell and smash the like. Make sure you hit the bell so you receive notifications whenever I upload my videos. So I'll be posting every week. So from now onwards, you guys are gonna see a lot of content here on YouTube. Well, before we dive into the workout proper, I'm gonna grab some water because it's very hot here. And as you can see, I just took a shower and I'm still sweating. So, <laughs> and then I'll take you guys to my office, all right? Let's go. It's so hot here where I live. I'm not actually sweating. I just took a shower, came back from the gym uh, one hour ago or something. And you know, guys, it's super, super warm. So mm, I'll try to be hydrated as much as possible. I guess it's about 37 degrees or something. So it's quite hot. Uh, but I'll bring you guys to my office and let's get to the workout properly. Before anything else, you have to understand what's the main goal of this workout. In my current split routine, the first two days of the week, I'm focusing more on strength. That means I'm doing lower reps, right? And I'm taking more time of rest. And then the other three days of the rest of the week, I'm focusing more on hypertrophy. Now, the first two days, I split it into upper body and lower body, which is lag, right? And then, uh, the other three days I'm doing push, pull and legs and one day if I feel like you're very active or something I'll probably be doing like leg body parts where I, I should like work a little bit more on details and so on but nothing really like super super heavy or hard because I need to rest to see some results. In this leg workout we're focusing on barbell exercise and compound exercise as well. This should take you one hour or so, or perhaps even less. Uh, I would say one hour, roughly one hour. And we're gonna work on our quads, hamstrings, and also glutes. And also don't lose sight of your cups. I see a lot of guys just working out arms and being super strong on their arms, but their cups they forget and they lose sight of it. And then your arms become much bigger than your cups, but your cups should be as big as your arms in my perspective once you have a very fit physique athletic one but also someone who is very in shape and proportional on your body so like nice shoulders broad shoulders wide back as well and then your calves uh, should be part of this nice physique today we're gonna actually work more into seven to nine reps each exercise uh, i would go a little bit lower but i'm not the kind of person that likes to go to four or three reps because i figured this is very demanding on my body the day after i feel super sore and the risk of having an injury is much higher when you're doing more like lower reps and um, in the past, I actually harmed myself doing that. So today I rather like the lowest that I go is like six reps, seven reps, and that's it. So I like to keep between this range when it comes down to strength from seven to nine reps. All right, let's walk it through. So the very first exercise we're doing split squats. Reason being, I figured that working first like laterally first on my left and then after on my right leg would benefit me the most and the split squat is also not that much harming for my lower back so it's kind of like a warm-up for me i like to place the first exercise as a warm-up thing that is important and interesting while performing this exercise is the stance of your legs make sure you step back wide as you step back as with your right leg as well so make sure like when you're stepping with your left leg like it's one meter and then if you step back with your right leg it's uh, one meter as well you don't want to make any kind of like uneven steps whenever you're performing this exercise and another thing as well is like in this exercise i'm focusing more on my quads so that's why i place it first even though 
is an exercise that actually packs your hamstrings and your glutes but guys this is the very first time I'm performing this workout routine is the very first day so I was still figuring out the weights and how much I should place on the barbell I even wrote it down on my workout notebook which is very very essential if I were you guys I'll definitely get a notebook so you write it down every workout and you can progressively overload and well develop yourself throughout the weeks otherwise you don't have any way of tracking this was a kind of like a warm-up I didn't place a lot of weight if I'm not mistaken it's like 15 kilos each side plus the bar and so on but this doesn't matter so remember guys three sets between seven to nine reps 60 seconds of rest all right <laughs> I'm kind of shaking this was uh, it had been a very long while since the last time I performed this exercise and I even couldn't remember I placed it because I noticed my legs were very uneven now we're head to the second exercise of this leg workout routine which would be a front squat kind of like uh, moving the bar because uh, normally you need a lower position to, to grip it here and then if you're doing a regular back squat then uh, it would be the bar would be higher so I just moved and I normally like to do this kind of grip not like that because I broke my arm and unfortunately I can't make it like supinated so it's kind of hard for me interesting guys because I'm trying to concentrate performance itself like execute perfectly going very low actually this is something that could be stopping you from making more progress in the gym because you're not doing all the exercise with the full range of motion and this is very very important if you notice here body really really low and this is so important I couldn't stress this the most even if you're doing back squats, whatever you're doing, like try to also maintain a full range of motion. Fortunately, I work a lot of my stretch, I do yoga, and then my mobility helps me a lot. So that's why I can actually squat very, very low. And also I have the bars for safety if anything happens. And, and it's interesting guys, because the front squat is another very uncomfortable exercise for me. I hadn't performed this for a very long while and it's interesting how you have to drop the weight compared to the back squats, right? Back squats you can overload a lot the bar but uh, front squats is just like so much harder. I feel a lot my core and also like all my body really. This one we're gonna do four sets again from seven to nine reps and then 60 seconds of rest, all right? Now you focus on going very low, if you have to drop the weight then do it so because what we focus here is not only strength but also technique. But always guys, always the technique will come first. Afterwards you progress in your strength and you overload the bar but firstly you need to get your technique on point. Another thing that I try to think whenever I'm performing this exercise is to be in an upward position, like really uh, maintaining a very natural and neutral position of my spine in a nice posture. So I don't cave in, even if the weight is like forcing me to, I keep my chest open. And it's funny because the following exercise, I increase the weight a lot and this first one was so hard heading over to the next exercise which is uh, this leg press machine is a bit rusty so it's not any th this gym overall is a bit rusty you see old dumbbells old machines here what I'm focusing is actually on the eccentric portion of the exercise so whenever I'm coming down to my chest I'm controlling a lot of the weight and focusing on my quads. If you step a little bit higher on the platform, then you would be focusing on your hamstrings and glutes if you have a wide stance. But here, it's like the stance is aligned with my hips, is aligned with my hips and my knees. So it's kind of like neutral and I'm focusing on my quads. That's why the eccentric portion I'm controlling. I'm over control. I'm really controlling the uh, when it comes down, when the weight is lowering to my chest. So this is more important here 
and seven to nine reps again uh, four sets all right seven to nine reps and in this particular part of the routine we're doing a superset so we're carrying leg press with Romanian deadlifts barbell Romanian deadlifts you need a flat surface I couldn't perform this exercise barefoot but I was wearing a nice flat shoes and if you notice I'm controlling a lot the eccentric portion again of this exercise. When I'm coming down, I'm counting like two, three seconds, and then I'm trying to explode whenever I go up. What is most interesting about this exercise is one of the best whenever you want to target your hamstrings and also your glutes. But since I did a superset with my leg press, it's kind of tough. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you guys. It's very, very tough. But since I have a nice mobility, I can go down easily without hurting myself and I can benefit from my range of motion. That's why I tell you guys, like work on your mobility, stretch whenever you can, do dynamic stretching as well if you have to, but don't lose sight of your mobility. This could help you so much not to have tight muscle body parts, all right? Seven to nine reps and uh, controlling the weight. This workout is focused on strength, but you're also controlling the weight, all right? Your posture should be neutral as well, like you see in mine, not curving in, not too open as well, but also very, very flat. So you keep a nice posture. And then after these three sets, we're gonna head over to the hip thrust. One of my favorite exercises when it comes down to build big glutes. Actually the best. If you're not doing hip thrust, I'm afraid to say, but you're not working out glutes properly. It's the best builder for glutes ever. Make sure you're focusing on doing them whenever you want a big, a nice pair of glutes. I'm taking the opportunity of using the decline bench to actually use it as a support for my back, which is very, very com comfortable. If you haven't done that yet, I strongly recommend. And another thing that I do recommend as well is placing steps below the weights like I did here. The reason being very simple. I'm six, six, one, six, two feet tall. So uh, whenever like I'm doing hip thrusts on a bench, it takes me a lot of effort to take it from the floor upwards. Basically because I'm, I'm tall, I've got like very long legs. And then if I place those two steps, it becomes much easier for me. And then here I'm focusing on the concentric part on the concentric portion where I squeeze a lot. If you notice at the top, I'm kind of squeezing it. Another technique that is important if you want to focus on your glutes is better if you wind up your legs and then you place them parallel uh, and more close to your body. So this exercise, you have a bunch of different variations. And in this one, we are doing four sets from seven to nine reps, all right? 60 seconds rest, which is plenty for you. If you feel like you can take it, then just go for the next set before 60 seconds, or perhaps you should increase the weight as well. It's really up to you. This is a line leg curl, which is a machine that I prefer basically to focus more on the eccentric portion of the exercise. So I'll be lowering my legs like in two, three seconds controlling it. I'm still figuring out the weight, that's why you guys saw it me like uh, trying to see if it's 40, 50, 60 kilos and I'm squeezing a lot. You could actually see my hamstrings working and uh, I like to use machines as a finisher. Firstly, go to the body weight or barbell exercise because they demand they are more taxing on your body in terms of balance, the strength and everything else. Whereas machines, you have you already have that track range of motion, which is easier. You actually just control the eccentric and the concentric, but you don't have to be concerned about balance or something else. So here we're doing three sets, 13 to 15 reps. So higher reps at the end of the workout, just to you know finish off our hamstrings. <laughs> you could tell I'm soaked 
in sweat. And here we're doing a super set as well with the lower back glute hamstring, which is a very interesting exercise to finish off. I'm going to failure here, there's no weight added. And it's interesting because if you notice this technique, I'm curving in my back. So this allows me to have a better mind connection with my glute or my hamstring. If you are more open with your chest, then you probably would feel much more your lower back. And this is something that I don't want to. So if you're more advanced, I could tell you that you could even actually focus more on your glutes or on your hamstrings, depending on the way you're performing this exercise. If you squeeze really, really high your glutes, you're probably gonna feel much more than your hamstring. And then the last superset, we're gonna put abduction and adduction machine together. This first one is the abduction and we're doing two sets from 15, from 13 to 15 reps and also very controlled. I want you guys to notice how am I controlling the eccentric portion and concentric portion as well. Here, for example, in the abduction machine, I'm controlling much more the concentric portion and whereas here, well, actually here in adduction machine, I'm always controlling a lot. If you notice my range of motion, like allows me and my mobility allows me to open up my legs a lot. And then I'm just controlling it a lot. Like this, I am at the workout, guys. You're gonna be so exhausted. You're so tired already. You can tell like I'm completely soaked and all wet. <laughs> so I sweat a lot. Uh, sweating bullets actually, you could tell. But it's a great workout routine. Uh, this uh, takes like one hour or something. So uh, try it out, give it a go, see how it works. I think you guys are gonna be fun, gonna enjoy it a lot. And then to finish off, don't lose sight of your calves. I'm doing four sets of 15 to 17 reps, squeezing it at the top. Get about the weight, all right? When you're doing seated calves, a lot of people they load with a lot of weights trying to make it very heavy but it's more about technique than loading in the machine with a lot a lot of weights all right guys so that's it that's the workout i hope you guys have appreciated today's workout and i didn't tell you guys but there is a very nice surprise at the end of this video which is my mobility routine after leg workout basically to help me you lose a little bit of the muscles that I worked on it previously. So for example, your lower back that was hit a lot, your quads, your hamstring, is to open up your hips as well. And this is a uh, kind of a stretch to help you lose your body and not feel that tight afterwards. And also to help you whenever you have to recover and the day after you don't feel that sore. But before anything else, hope you guys have appreciated this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel as well. Hit the bell so you receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. And smash the like, this helps a lot. I will work here providing content for you guys. And if you don't follow me on the other social media, on my Instagram and TikTok, I'll link here down below. And if you need anything else, just come in. I'll be super happy to clarify any questions that might appear, all right? So guys, have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoy the end of this uh, workout with this dynamic routine. And I'll see you in the next video, all right? So take care. Bye-bye. See you around.